Good morning, friends, and welcome to our worship this morning. Today is the day people around the country will be celebrating VE Day, or Victory in Europe Day. And uh, this is the day 75 years ago that World War II ended in Europe. And we're going to be exploring what it must have felt like to be able to celebrate this time 75 years ago and also to look at the very strong links between what emotions uh, were being felt before the end of the war and how we might be feeling right now in the middle of lockdown. Now, to start our worship, we are going to be listening to a piece of music first, just like we do uh, when we are in school. And the song we are going to listen to is performed by Voces 8 and it's called The Road Home. And we heard this uh, performed recently at Workshop College when some of our pupils uh, went there for the day to work with Voces 8. And what I want you to do is to concentrate on the words um, because we're going to be thinking about them in a minute. And have a think in particular about how the lockdown is making you feel and think also about who is there to help you manage that. After six long and painful years of war, the streets and homes of Britain were full of celebration. Germany had finally surrendered, fighting had stopped, 
and peace was found. Now, during that six years of the war, Britons had suffered a great deal. They'd lost loved ones in battle. They'd lost loved ones at home. Their food was rationed, so they couldn't eat the things that they would usually enjoy eating. And they had to turn off their lights and they had to hide in shelters to stop themselves being killed or injured uh, with dropping bombs. Lots of people found that experience incredibly scary. Some children even had to leave their families and go and live with other people in the countryside where it was much safer, particularly if they lived in cities themselves. And it's no surprise that when the war was finally over and things began to go back to normal, that everybody was full of celebration and great delight. Can you begin to imagine how it might feel to have been a child in those circumstances? Well, I think you probably could actually. And I think the reason why you could is that I think you're probably feeling some of the same feelings about being isolated in your own home due to coronavirus. In the same way as people during the war were sad, um, you might be feeling that way too. Perhaps you know somebody who is or has been ill. Uh, perhaps, unfortunately, you may know somebody who has died recently. Perhaps you are missing being allowed to visit your friends. Perhaps you are missing being allowed to visit your grandparents or some of your older relatives who were not allowed to visit at the moment. Perhaps those friends that you are missing uh, and haven't seen for six weeks are always on your mind. Perhaps you're struggling to find interesting things to do around the house. Um, and you might be desperate to go out and play with your friends as well. Can you imagine how you're going to feel when all of this is over and you are suddenly allowed and able to do all of those things again? I think we probably might want to have a party too. Now the song we heard earlier talks about finding our way along a road to get to where we want to be. And it's really important that we know that what we're experiencing at the moment will come to an end. We just need to keep on walking along that road and listening to the people who are helping us to make that journey and we'll get there eventually if we do that but who gives us advice like that your parents your teachers god whoever it is talk to them and listen to them this is a message that would fit well with all of those people who were suffering in World War II before it came to an end. And it's just as important that we remember that advice now in our own same situation. Now it's very strange in school at the moment. Some pupils are working with teaching assistants at our learning hub at Sparken Hill and it's all a bit strange for them too. But in school the building is cold, it's quiet, and it's dark and this is the opposite to what our school usually is like. Having said that it's spotlessly clean and even Mr Dashber has managed to keep the grounds outside looking really smart. But it doesn't feel right. It doesn't feel like our Priory family is there anymore at school. Well let me tell you it really is still there. All of the staff are missing you a great deal. Our job is more than just a job. Um, our job is to make sure that you know and that you feel loved and that we continue doing that alongside your families uh, at home. We're working hard to make sure that you know this and 
I hope you have enjoyed receiving the phone calls and work on the blogs uh, and communicating with your teachers uh, in that way. And um, it's been brilliant to see and I'm so pleased to see the dedication and the hard work that so many of you have put in. So well done for that. When this is all over and we are able to join back together at school, I think we too will be feeling like we need to have a party and I can't wait for that day at all. Before we do that, we need to make sure that everybody who comes to school is going to be safe and happy and we're going to make sure that that's the case. What are you looking forward to the most about coming back to school? So as we celebrate VE Day, uh, I hope that we can take a moment to understand that life throws us great challenges and problems uh, from time to time. And sometimes that puts us on a journey that feels impossible. Just like with World War II, uh, there'll be an end to that time, as I've already said, and we will celebrate just like those people did in 1945, as we remember today. We'll come to the end of that road together, and just like there are signposts on the side of the road to tell us the right direction to go, there are lots of signposts uh, in our minds as well. You might ask God for some help too, if you're struggling, or you want to know where to go and how to get there. He is there for anyone who wants to talk to him. Just find a quiet moment, listen out for him and talk to him when you need directing along that road. We're now going to find out uh, a little bit more about VE Day by watching a short video. VE Day is one of the most significant moments in recent British history, but what exactly is VE Day and why is it important? On the 8th of May 1945, Allied forces accepted the unconditional surrender from Nazi Germany, therefore bringing about the end of the Second World War in Europe. This was the moment that millions of people had waited for. After nearly six years of fighting, peacetime was now upon them. Winston Churchill, the Prime Minister, made an announcement to the nation and a national holiday was declared. People celebrated their newfound freedom. Street parties were thrown, with young and old from right across the community coming together to celebrate. Food was prepared, drinks were served, and there are fantastic stories of people even dragging pianos out onto the street to play songs, and the singing and the dancing and the celebrations continued long into the night. It was a moment of release that freedom was now upon them. For many, this was a bittersweet moment, but while they were celebrating their newfound freedom, they were also remembering the countless loved ones that had been lost during the conflict. And of course, the war wasn't over. Fighting was still continuing in the Asian theatre of war, and it wasn't until August of 1945 that VJ Day, Victory in Japan Day, was declared and hostilities ceased entirely. I think it's important that we celebrate VE Day every year and it's a wonderful opportunity for us to remember and understand the sacrifices that have been made by past generations that allow us to live in freedom and democracy like we do today. Now you may have your own collection of family heirlooms from the Second World War as well and it's a wonderful opportunity to speak to your parents and other relatives, find out about family members that may have served during the Second World War and what their story was. Thank you, Andrew. That was very interesting. Now, we're going to take a moment to uh, pray and to find some space where we can do that. And in our prayers today, we are going to be thinking about the themes of VE Day and also about our own situation here in lockdown. They're going to be led by Year 6 this morning. And if you would like to make the prayers your own, you can say Amen at the end.
Heavenly Father, let us remember today the selfless and courageous service and sacrifice of those who brought peace to Europe. Let us remember the men and women of the armed forces who fought for peace and who sacrificed so much, and for the good examples they have also given us. We pray also for the servicemen and women in our armed forces at home and abroad today. Defend them day by day with your heavenly grace. Strengthen them and give them courage to face each new day. Amen. Heavenly Father, as we think about the importance of peace that was born for us, let us think of those who work today for peace and liberty throughout the world. Be with them as they work to bring an end to injustice and suffering. Amen. Let us remember those who so selflessly gave their lives at home and abroad, whose sacrifices enable us to enjoy the peace and freedom we have today. Let us remember those who came home wounded, physically and mentally, and the friends and family who cared for them. Let us remember those who returned to restore their relationships and rebuild their working years after lives of dreadful conflict and turmoil. Let us remember the families that lost husbands, sons and sweethearts. Let us remember the servicemen, merchant seamen, miners, brave civilians and others from Commonwealth and Allied countries who fought, suffered and died during several years of war. Let us remember those in reserved occupation and the brave people who kept us safe on the home front. The doctors and nurses who cared for the wounded, the women and the men who toiled the fields, those who worked in factories who all played such a vital role in the war effort at home. Amen. Lord, we pray now for our families, for all of the people that we live with and other members of our family that we do. We give thanks that we are safely together and think too about family members we are far away from and can't see at the moment. Pour your love on all our families, the sons and daughters, brothers and sisters, mums and dads, grandmas and grandads, aunties, uncles and cousins. Amen. thanks for our Priory family, for every one of the children and members of staff. We thank you for our friends at Priory Church and for each member of our community. We are grateful for each other and look forward to the time when we can safely meet up again. Amen. Thank you, Year 6, for those very moving prayers. Now, change of mood. We are in party mode this afternoon with a bit of luck as we celebrate VE Day. Hopefully you have had an opportunity to use some of our resources or, or your own uh, in order to make some bunting or flags um, or cakes. And you may have even decided that you're going to have a picnic this afternoon. There were grand plans across the country for today, but unfortunately we have to keep things very low key due to our lockdown. However, I really do hope that if you have the time that you can enjoy some of the celebrations in your garden today, keeping good social distancing. And you may be able to see people along your street in their own gardens uh, celebrating in a similar way. Now, just to help you along, I thought I might show you some uh, video taken from 1945 that's been put into colour. And it shows you how people celebrated uh, at that time. And as you are uh, celebrating this afternoon, you might use that as an example of the sorts of things that you could do and maybe give your flags a wave at people across the street um, and have a really good time. See what you think.
Now, I'm really looking forward to seeing how you celebrate VE Day today. And if you have any photographs uh, or short videos that you would like to send to us, we would love to receive them as we're going to be running a, a, an online gallery showing how everybody is marking today's uh, events. So please do get in touch via events at worksopprierie.snmat.org.uk. The details are on the screen as well. And uh, the gallery will be taking place uh, later in the weekend and we hope that as many people will be able to contribute to that as possible. We're going to finish today in a very traditional way. Uh, you will probably hear the national anthem several times today and we're going to join in together to sing that uh, to end our worship. Don't worry if you don't know the words, they're going to be on the screen for you as well. So um, you, if you'd like to stand up and sing very loudly with the rest of your family, um, that will be a fantastic way to end our assembly today and to begin our celebrations for VE Day. Take care, everybody. We really do look forward to seeing you soon. Stay healthy, stay happy. Goodbye.